Hello all my viewers, uh, today I will talk about uh, Cortex-M4, uh, I will show some practical examples how to use uh, SIMD, SIMD instructions, uh, and also you will see uh, some practical example on this development kit and uh, I will show you the speed improvement with uh, SIMD instructions on the scope. So let's begin. So uh, what SIMD stands for? It means single instruction, multiple data, uh, and uh, that means that uh, you have one instruction which will uh, apply one algorithm on uh, more data. Like here, you have uh, four variables, let's say, and you apply the same instruction. Usually you use these instructions to optimize your code. Uh, you can uh, improve efficiency of your audio or video or image algorithms. And that's uh, what I will show you today. Uh, I will show you how to uh, make a faster sum algorithm on this uh, STM. And this example will work only on Cortex-M4. Uh, because Cortex-M3 doesn't have uh, these instructions, it has only this square and also uh, these examples uh, will run even if you have or you have not uh, FPU on your Cortex-M4, it doesn't matter. So let's start with some practical example. Here I have a simple project, uh, the only thing you have to know is that uh, I have some uh, picture in in the flash picture is called Lena you will find in a moment why it's called Lena so I have a grayscale picture uh, one uh, byte per pixel stored here in static uh, array and the display on the kit is mapped to this variable so I basically I take every pixel uh, and copy the pixel from the input array to the frame buffer of the LCD and I will see the picture on it. Uh, here is uh, some uh, debug outputs. Uh, I have connected one uh, pin from the processor um, to the oscilloscope so I can compare the speed of the algorithm later. So let's start. I will compile this. So this is famous photo of Lena. This picture is used uh, to show uh, different uh, graphic algorithms and uh, picture improvements. So I took the same picture. So this is really a simple example of just displaying this image. Uh, now let's say that I would like to uh, lower brightness a little bit because uh, yeah, the picture is a little bit too bright. So I can do this simple subtraction. On the oscilloscope you can see how much time it takes to copy the source array to destination and because uh, this is uh, in a loop so this waveform is updating once every second and now let's try uh, this subtraction uh, there is of course uh, one bug and i will get to this bug later so now watch the picture and you can see some artifacts. Uh, you, you see that uh, the darkest places, which had to be darker, are actually bright. And that's because uh, when I when I subtract uh, one value 100, that uh, this 8-bit uh, variable actually underflows. It means that it gets uh, below zero, and then it gets some higher number, and that's why the darker parts now are almost white. So I have to add a simple condition, which is this. And I have also changed this to integer number to signed. So I will use not unsigned, but signed value. And I will see when the value underflows. And here I do simple casting again. Okay, this could work. So now remember this picture and let's start. Okay, so this is better. The image is darker and the dark areas stays dark, stays at the, at the lowest value of the pixel, which is zero. 
Uh, but this uh, condition uh, is adding some processing time. Uh, so you see that uh, now it takes 3.3 uh, milliseconds to update, uh, to copy the source array to the destination. And uh, I will show you how to improve this time, make it shorter with the uh, Cortex-M4 SIMT instruction set. So this uh, kale site has nice list uh, of these instructions you see for adding uh, subtracting uh, also uh, there is one set of function which i'm interested in and that's a saturating subtraction saturating means that even if you are adding or subtracting it's not going under or over the maximum uh, value of your variable which means that this instruction will take care of this condition for me and for my example I can use uh, this uh, instruction which will do four additions uh, sorry four subtractions in one cycle so this is a function which I will use to demonstrate how to make this uh, copying faster so in the beginning I will just show a small example how to use this function. Uh, these functions are implemented in core cm4 simt uh, header file. You can see a lot of instructions here. And you can basically write these uh, instructions with assembly, but uh, the Cortex uh, M interface standard, the CMIS has these handy header files so you can use these functions directly. So this instruction will do, uh, it will add uh, the first byte uh, from the first operand to the first byte of the second operand. So this will be added and the output will be 11 hex. Then uh, the next byte will be added with this byte and so on and so on. So this, this, first, is, uh, this first line is uh, simple. So I will single step this line. And in the return, you can see uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is basically this value with incremented each byte. The second line is a little bit more interesting because uh, here I show what the saturated means. Uh, it means that the value will not overflow. So this value will be added uh, with this value and the output will be FF, then this FE will be added to number 2. And if you do normal addition, which means you add FE by this, then if you use the, the byte, then the output will be 1. But thanks to these uh, saturated instructions, the output of this addition will be also ff hexadecimal and the last two bytes will be also ff so let's single step this and after single stepping uh, this instruction uh, you see that uh, the output is all f's so now if you take a look uh, this uh, condition is used to test uh, two codes so one which is running right now and the other one uh, which will be my improved and which i will run by pressing uh, the button on the kit and because uh, this instruction is expecting a word on uh, the input, I have also uh, need to do some pointers uh, which are uh, unsigned 32. So this is why I need these two variables, two, these two pointers. So uh, in this for loop, uh, I had to run this loop 57,600 times uh, to copy single pixel. And this loop is uh, four times faster because uh, every instruction is adding four pixels, four bytes. And that's why I have to add uh, division by four here. And also here you see uh, 64 hex, so which is basically the 100, the value 100. So I have to put this four times. So every byte in the word is subtracted by this value. Now let's try to recompile this code. Okay, so the picture stays uh, the same. Uh, the same is also 
uh, 3.3 milliseconds per copying uh, the array. And now by pressing the user button on this kit, I will switch the code uh, to do this branch. And uh, you can watch uh, this uh, on the scope, that the uh, pulse will be shorter. So the old implementation is 3.3 milliseconds and when I press the button, then the new implementation is 840 microseconds, which is awesome. And if I will press and release the button, you cannot see the difference on the displays because uh, these two algorithms are the same, this one and this one. Now let's say I would like to do the opposite. I would like to uh, increase the brightness of the picture for uh, the fixed value. So I can use adding, uh, saturated adding of four bytes. So let's run this again. And now you will see uh, the change on the display because uh, one uh, part of the code is uh, increasing the brightness and the other is decreasing. So now we have decreasing brightness and when I press the button, you see increased brightness. So now let's take a closer look uh, on instructions uh, and how uh, the example is compiled to our application. So here is uh, my improved loop and this loop is uh, doing uh, loading the word, applying uh, my saturated math adding, then storing the word back uh, now there needs to be an increment of the of the e, e integer by four, and it's comparing uh, how many times we did the loop and is branching back to the beginning of the loop. So this naive implementation seems it has uh, like the same number of instructions, maybe one more. But it's four times quicker because uh, of the quad adding in here. So you really see the improvement uh, in, in the timing. So this is all I wanted to present to you. Uh, I wanted to make this video as simple and as uh, short as possible. Uh, but you can take a look on another SIMT instructions. Uh, there are even some uh, multiply exchanging and multiply accumulate instructions. Uh, they are very powerful. Yeah, so I hoped I made it clear how to use these instructions and I hope that you will use them in some of your project. Uh, let me know if you like this video by a big or small thumb up and subscribing will always motivate me to make uh, more content. Thank you.